Greetings again, teammates. Welcome to this episode of the LDHR Toolman. As you may know, we're in the midst of a video series on prioritizing your LDHR ministry, and we're introducing different tools we've developed to help us do that. Now, many of the tools and materials in our ministry are very linear and systematic. But the reality is that many people and cultures respond better to resources that are more conceptual and intuitive. So for this session, we're going to explore a great tool that approaches the process in a very different way. Cyrus Journey helps us look at and evaluate our LDHR functions by virtually walking in the shoes of a person who is a recipient of our processes and structures. This tool can be found on our LDHR.org website in Strategy, Evaluating LDHR, here. Cyrus Journey is an allegory. The story of a staff member's journey from joining to leaving our movement. It's a story for people specialists wanting to walk with, support, and build movement builders. And it's designed to be done together as a team although it can be done individually as well. It looks at our LDHR processes not through the lens of LDHR, but from the lens of a member on their journey in our movement. After a brief introduction on page two, the story begins with the team setting the scene by determining Cyrus' demographics, her specific situation, her background, her ministry experience her placement, and what she's like. Now you can select demographics that match current patterns for your country, or demographics that deal with specific issues you want to consider, or just a random selection, whatever will best meet your needs. Once you've set the scene and read through the introductions to roles LDHR may play in the story, it's time to begin Cyrus' journey. The tool walks through 10 stages that Syra encounters on her journey, which correspond with what most staff experience in their journey with us. Some are in natural chronological order, but others may occur at different periods of the journey. Each section consists of a short description of Syra's experiences and her related concerns or feelings, as well as discussion questions the team can use to better understand what Syra is going through and what we might do to make her journey more fruitful. Let me just briefly introduce to you the 10 stages. It begins with starting out, which deals with the application process. Next is base camp preparations, involving building a team of ministry partners. Then, in the backpack, which is new staff training. Next is the lie of the land, growing in her understanding of the movement, followed by rocky paths related to managing crisis situations. Then, the mountain plateau, which involves reviewing the past and planning for growth which leads to getting in shape, entailing pursuing continued development. Then the crossroads, covering the experience of role transitions, followed by desert lands, dealing with going through bleak situations. And finally, journey's end, which involves preparing for retirement. For each of these stages in the journey, we're looking from the member's perspective to evaluate the effectiveness of our processes and resources and how we can make them more effective and streamlined for the member. Cyrus' journey ends with questions for the team that will lead to a prioritized action plan. Many LDHR teams and ministries have benefited by looking through the lens of how our members experience our service and engaging in stimulating discussions through Cyrus' journey. I think you'll find this to be a very useful tool. Well, I trust this has been helpful. I encourage you to check out Cyrus' journey and to make a plan to use the tool to help prioritize your LDHR functions. Until next time, this is the LDHR Toolman. Have a great day using your LDHR tools.